Hello everybody. Um, just recently I released a video on YouTube. Um, let me pull it out right quick. Uh, it's a video that I've made um, to kind of exper experimenting with uh, facade and design. Um, and what I was doing with that video is I was taking a I was taking a piece of program like a blocking diagram and based on its location I assigned different parameters to it and I uh, I was able to control the facade based on the location of those different pieces of program. Um, you can kind of see the diagram for it right here. Whereas different gray areas have uh, zero permeability factor which you know I assigned to be a storage so you kind of want to close it off. and. So I made this simple grasshopper definition for it and yeah, kind of tried to automate it. Um, and after I shared it on YouTube and I showed it to a bunch of my friends, uh, one of them uh, suggested that I should, um, instead of assigning preps like I was doing before, I should try to use the geometry pipeline component with it. Um, as it's much better just because you can assign it a different layer of, uh, of Rhino and the geometry pipeline component can actually read the content of that layer. So right now the way this works is let me just turn this off right quick. The way this works is that you can you can grab different uh, either boxes, either breps or, or pilot lines and if you put them on layers, like the layers I had set up over here, so let's say you change this from storage to lobby, it updates the definition uh, it updates the definition in Grasshopper. So you can see how you know some of these areas are much open and this is defined as closed just because it's uh, it's on the storage layer. Um, but let me change that to let's say a lobby layer and it automatically opens up or if I change it to a classroom layer it kinda has a 50% permeability set up for it. So this definition that I've had with you know attractor points and exploding preps and subdividing them um, all of a sudden it kind of open up a new possibilities and it's much more workable it still does the same thing with the geometry it's all inspired of Gill's surface um, it also has a little rotational parameter you can see so it really opens up the facade a little bit more and it's much cleaner um, you know all in all it's pretty much the same definition but with a little bit more functionality um, and I like it a lot. It's you know, it's uh, it's kind of this this easy workflow, an early visualization of of your program, and you know it really speeds up the design kind of schematic phase when you can cl work closely with your planners and you know moving those blocking diagrams around in the plan a bit changes like every day. If that can automatically update your facade design simultaneously, it's uh, it's a pretty good workflow. Um, obviously I'm going to have a shirt on YouTube, I'm going to probably make a post on my blog, so um, stay tuned, stay tuned, and um, if you have any questions feel free to email me, um, my email address is on my blog, um, all the videos, everything's there for you to download. Um, Alright, thanks for watching, I, have, uh, I hope you appreciate this. And um, I got some got some good stuff coming up in the future, so stay tuned.